Look at this wonderful cactus. It's growing so big. It's growing fast, actually. Love it. We are going to go upstairs and see what Andre is doing, but I thought I'd show you what Andre has built me. This shelf where I put all my little pots, my pumpkins. Só os patuleiros quando ele me fez para me colocar minhas plantas muito giras. O que é que vocês acham? Some more of the plants that we have. Tá aqui essas plantas muito lindas que eu ganhei de uns vizinhos nossos. Vamos lá em cima ver o que é quando ele está fazendo. Most of these were given to me. Our rosemary, of course. O nosso alecrim que está muito lindo. Which is just overgrown at this point. But it looks really nice. So there's our beautiful plant here. There's our squash or pumpkin batch. It's all nice and flowery and it's got the little small pumpkins already. Let's show you that. So here we go. You see them like this. Olha as nossas abogas, estão lindas. There's some more over on this end as well. Look at that. So we've got quite a bit coming in. Já temos bastante jabobas nascendo. Those flowers are just so bright and pink. You can't really capture the color on camera, but it's just beautiful. I love it. Essas flores cor de rosa são tão bonitas e essa coisa aqui estranha, não sei o que é que é, mas o André gosta muito dela. The fava bean still looking good. Mia running around. I don't know what's going on with her. Look at her. What's going on, Mia? What's going on, baby? Tell me. What? Why are you running around like that? All right, let's go see if we can find your dad. As favas também estão tão lindas. Olha a Mia correndo com feito uma louca. Não sei o que é que se passa com ela hoje. So this is what the day looks like today. It's cloudy, but it is warm. Going through our fava beans to get to Andre. Let's see what he's up to today. Essa madeira está aqui desde a última vez quando é cortou-la que é para fazer as achas. Os nossos inhames. Our taro. So Andre is digging here. We have a crop of potatoes that he did prior to us going to Canada and Brazil. We've just come back from Canada and Brazil not too long ago. But these are the potatoes. They're all dried up. Um, he's lost some of them. But we're going to go ahead and harvest them. They're just the baby ones. Just the baby ones. Right? Well, these are the ones we used to have, buy in Canada, Andre. These little small tiny ones. Which I like, like for uh, roasting and doing potato salad. O André está tirando a batata da terra, ah, mas essa batata forrou. Mas a gente não vai jogar fora, a gente vai aproveitar. Vamos fazê-la no forno, vamos fazer uma salada de batata, que é muito boa. And André is trying to dig for gold. I think I did a short on this one. He's trying to dig for gold, but look what he comes up with instead. Show me a potato, André. He's gonna he's gonna show me what he's digging for, hoping it was gold, but unfortunately potatoes instead. Harvesting potatoes, which is a good thing. What is that? Oh, that's your gold nugget. Yeah. Let me see it. There's Andre's gold nugget. Potatoes. The next best thing. Não achou ouro, ela achou foi meu batata, que é bom, que é para a gente comer. So here's Andre's nuggets of gold. 
basically one potato gets you like one, two, three, four, five. So that's from one potato that you planted. Yeah. And you got about five. Olha só, de uma batata dá muitas ou várias batatas. Oh look, there's another one there. That's neat, eh? Oh, sweet potato. He had done sweet potato last year. And look, there's still some there. Yeah. Is that not good to consume? I think so. Good. Yeah, put it in that same uh, in that same uh, pail. Uh, sorry, in that same thing there, Andre. Olha só, ela achou batata doce do ano passado. Oh, you don't want to mix them? Okay. So you're saying that you're going to get it ready for carrots as well? Be oh yeah, beets would be good. The, I wonder if they sell the golden beets here, Andre. The golden beets. Yeah, we have to go and uh, see if we can find some of those. If not, the regular uh, red or purple ones is fine. One day, I'm pensando de implantar cenoura e batarraba também. So is that what you're going to be putting? You're, so you're harvesting the potatoes so you can put the for the carrots. I'm going to go and see how your uh, garlic is doing. The garlic that Andre did, or Andre planted the other day, I'd say about a week and a half ago to two weeks. And look at how far they've come up already. So he's got this whole side here full of garlic. I can't wait to uh, harvest it. Eu não vejo a hora da gente tirar o alho da terra que é para consumir. Mia, are you sniffing for gold as well? Are you sniffing for gold? Did you find any? Mia está com o André, está à procura de ouro. Are you going to try to save those ones and just replant them again? There's the roosters going, or the chickens laying some eggs. O nosso vizinho tem galos. Até o galo cantando nessa ilha soa bem. You're going to save that one as well? You may have killed it. You may have killed it because you chopped through it? As long as you're not chopping my head, I'm okay with that. <laughs> I bet you feel like it sometimes, no? I do. I know, I know. I feel the same way too. Just, just kidding. This is potato. Mia's still trying to dig for gold. Have you found any? Have you found some gold? I think she has. Look at these gold nuggets. Look, Mia. These gold nuggets, is that what you found for us? Good girl. Atta girl. Good girl. Good girl for mama. Atta girl. So this potato got to four seven. Hold on.
So our, our dinner today, our supper, is going to be fresh fish. I'm also going to do baked potato in the oven. Green beans. We have gotten, they look so nice and fresh. A janta hoje vai ser batata assada no forno, feijão verde e dourada na sua rasqueira que o André vai fazer. While I'm getting the fish prepared, look what André has done. He has put on this percolator. You can see it going down. Tea. He loves to have tea in the evenings. So he does it mid-afternoon, and that way he has it for the evenings. This is rosemary tea that we will have later on tonight. Chá de alecrim para a gente malogar à noite juntos. So here's Andre preparing the fish. He just puts it on the grill like that. He opens them. And this fish is dourada. I'm not quite sure how you say it in English. Do you know how to say it in English, Andre? No. But no, do maybe. Dourada. And how do you season it? Just core salt. Just core salt, that's it? That's it. The tempero a dourada so con sal grosso. And I think I'm going to do my sauce, Andre, with the uh, roasted garlic and butter. Yeah. There you go. And then you just put that right onto the barbecue, right? Right. Okay. So we'll show you once he has it on the barbecue, on the grill. There he goes. He's got that all on. O André acabou de colocar a dourada na sua rasqueira e vai ficar lá mais ou menos uma meia hora. But, so André has just finished putting the fish onto the grill here on the barbecue. And then we'll show you once it's all nice and done. So he's just going to flip them. Oh, they're looking good. They're nice Look and at toasty. That. They're looking amazing. I can't wait to have it. Me too. Okay. So Andre has removed the fish from the barbecue. It's all ready. I'm going to put it into the serving tray. O peixe está pronto para ser servido. Oh, that looks amazing. I'm just going to move this here. Look at that fish. Grilled to perfection. It looks so good. A dourada está com muito bom aspecto. Eu mal posso esperar para a gente comer. Eu também fiz um molho que vai por cima, que é um molho de alho com manteiga. Vai ficar uma delícia. So this is going to be our supper today. We've got roasted potatoes in the oven, olives, my garlic butter sauce to go on top of the fish, roasted garlic, our fish, of course, and then our beans. So that's going to be our supper for tonight. Tasty. So there's my dish, the fish with the sauce, olives, in the green beans. Mom is having fish, potatoes, olives, and the green beans. Does it taste good, Mother? Mm -hmm. And then Andre's just on the potatoes and fish with the garlic sauce. All right. Bon appetit. <laughs>